Oh, hi, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. Oh, my. My hair is a little quiet away here. If only I had some uh, spray wax. Right? But it's hot today, so I have to put my hair up a little bit because I don't want it in my face. Are you inspecting me back there? <laughs> Are you gonna pick the bugs off of me like a like a monkey? I hope. <laughs> I hope so too, because we're making food today. So, oh, thank you, Edebe. I uh, I just have it pulled back into a little baby pony right now. I'm contemplating cutting the rest of my hair. Not not all of it. Just like the sides. I've already got one side done thanks to my husband. You did a great job. You're great at doing the shaving. <laughs> then we can match. No one will be able to tell us apart. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Right. So today, kids, oh, Sumner's here. We're making fried green tomatoes, but we're not going to do them unhealthily. We're going to do them vegan, number one. And number two, we're going to do them in the air fryer, a.k.a. my uh, air frying toaster oven because it's convection. So hot. It is hot, but that's why you have the air on. Will Mark be joining again for the whole show? When? Yes. When? Right now. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yes, he will. Look, I started pulling stuff off the wall over here. I'm going to be painting either tonight or tomorrow. Probably not tonight. Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Charlie. Are we actually your favorite people on YouTube? That's awesome. Hi, Whispering Hands. Laura's got an air fryer, but she's never used it. Oh my god, you're going to have to bust it out of the Use box it. and make it. Sarah's here. Um, whoa, Andrew has three air fryers, and wow. he loves cooking with it. Ed Bay says, I like dried tomatoes, but never tried frying green tomatoes. I may have eaten them at a restaurant. They are really delicious. I had never tried them until your mother suggested them. Yeah, she liked them. They're great. They're so delicious. And it, and of course, I heard I never e have even heard about them until they had that movie, Fried Green Tomatoes. So, Maddie's MIA today. Maddie's far away, in a land far away. She went over the rainbow. <laughs> She's not in Kansas anymore. Hi, Pixie. Yeah, this could definitely be the recipe to break it out for because this one is going to be amazingly delicious. Kansas can't wait to try it. Nelson says happy 4th. Happy 4th to you too, Nelson. Right. Happy 4th. And Louie's in the house. When, we used to joke whenever Louie would come in that he was like Norm on Cheers. Everybody would say, Norm! But everybody said, Louie! Uh, July 4th is supposed to be Big Brother promo promos. We shall see. We'll see. My husband looks hungry. He's always hungry. <laughs> I just had a... Take uh, that for how you will. I just had a pretty big uh, protein, protein shake. Yeah. So not really He's pretty hungry. satisfied right now. Hey, Sheena. Yeah. Guys, I got to show you a uh, little sneak peek at what we're having tonight for the Hamilton Watch Party, a.k.a. also, this will be, you want to bring that over? Will also be for the 4th of July. Oh my goodness. Oh. This beautiful vegan apple pie. Oops. Oops. Hey, I need buddy. a dog over here. <laughs> Come on, Bowie, where are you? A little piece of the crust broke off. Come on, Bowie, get it. I know, I can't help it. I'm the queen of the double entendres. It's all due to him. He started me on that. Yeah. I know your snarky ways. Yes. Dinner tonight is going to be a barbecue slash grape, uh, stuffed grape leaves. Uh, yeah, Hamilton watch party, hashtag. Thank you. I just whipped that up this morning. Mark's like, don't make a pie. And I said, okay, I will. 
usual. Don't ask me to sing. As usual. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> don't ask me. Uh, uh oh, what? My phone's blowing up over here. What's going on? Oh, okay. Just some uh, last-minute news about the watch party. All right. Um. <laughs> yes, Louie, you can be the prince of the double entendres for sure. You enjoy them the most, so. I guess we should start, husband. Good idea. So, um, yeah, a cherry pie would have been better <laughs> for the double entendres. <laughs> Am I going to get a pixie cut? Um, I don't know. If I do get a pixie cut, I'm going to have definitely have like a long Who, who's section. Doing it? I have to go somewhere and have it done. You right. can't. That's beyond your exactly. capabilities. Exactly. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. It could just be a fun summer thing, you know, and then it, it'll punch, grow back in. Give you a punishment haircut. <laughs> uh, am I your cherry pie? Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Survivor will never do teens. No, they won't. It's too much of a. Um, First of all, it's an insurance liability, and I'm not completely sure it's legal for them to put those kids through, uh... I don't think I want to see them anyway. Yeah, who wants to see teens except for other teens? Nobody. Oh, my guy Oh. Too soon. All right, um... Yeah, just get the clippers out and get to work, Mark. Why not? I had punishment haircuts my entire life. Uh, oh, thank you, Sheena. The queen stays the queen of vegan recipes. <laughs> Look, I have my Hamilton shirt on for tonight already. Oh, boy. Huggleton. <laughs> All right, Hanley said, shut my yap and get cooking. All right. You're, I'm going to flip the screen around, and you're going to at least start by cutting up the tomatoes as okay. I yell at you. <laughs> All right. Oh, damn, you're looking good. Oh, no. All right, so these uh, came out of the garden. Two came out yesterday. One came out this morning. I got one with rotten pot. Yeah, one's a little damaged by the hail or an animal or something. I, so. I think it was hail. All right, so do you want to start by cutting off the, uh, the rotten part so we don't eat that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. These are very firm, which is nice, because that's what you want for uh, fried green tomatoes. You want them to be super firm. You don't want things to be mushy in the least. I'm going to put these in the trash. Yes. Uh, are you Jean, the anal retentive chef? Yes. Well, I didn't wrap them in a, a paper bag and staple them. No. Uh, excuse me. You also need to center the tape on the lip of the bag. Yes. All right. So now I think... The thing that you would need to do next is to core them. Core? What do you think I am? Just, no, just do like a diamond cut, you know. Come again? What? All right, so you know how a diamond, I don't have mine on. <laughs> it's too It's too heavy to wear. Just kidding. I, yeah. It is pretty big, though. No, it's not. You just cut around this, but you go at like an angle. Like you were doing a lettuce, a head of lettuce at 7-Eleven, getting ready to uh, put it in the slicer. I honestly think I remember that. Well, it was only 30-something years ago, 40 going, years ago. This thing is going to be a mess. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. These tomatoes are beautiful. Uh, this was a really nice... No, don't cut all the way through. I said diamond cut, baby. How long were you married? 37 years. Almost. Okay, just checking. Yeah. Diamond. Shh. Can I do the others? <laughs> sure, after I learn. After you ruin that one. Can I do the recipe with red and yellow there. tomatoes? You like that? Maybe yeah. A little pyramid. That's exactly what I wanted. Exactly. Well, you need to learn to express yourself. Um, I thought I did. Nope. I said diamond cut. I'm not, I'm not going there. <laughs> Thank you. Because there are many interpretations <laughs> there. Uh, all right. The first cut's always the deepest, right? 
All right. Uh, thank you for remarking about the plants. This was, um, these plants were, what were they? Sandwich tomatoes? Is that what the name of them was? Don't remember. The tomatoes were supposed to be big enough that you could cut a slice and you would only need one slice to go on a uh, sandwich. Yeah, I guess if we had left these growing. They would be even bigger. These are like Jersey tomatoes. Yeah, these are, uh, these are nice size. Yeah, they're really nice. All right, so now what we're going to do is cut half inch slices or more horizontally. This way? Yes. This no. way? No. This way? No. This way? That oh God, way. You make everything so hard. What is... Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you're going to cut that little stubby off first? I am. Oh, good. You're so good. You want them half inch thick? Yeah. Like that? That is a little bit generous for half an inch, wouldn't you say? Yeah. That's more like quarter inch. No, that's too, too skinny, but that's okay. Make the next one a little fatter. Yeah. Maybe you... Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. You got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you know I'm going to cut my hand, right? Yeah. You, um, please don't cut your hand. You can't do these with yellow or um, red tomatoes <clears throat> because mushy. they're not, yeah, they're too mushy. They're just going to fall apart. You're going to have sauce. The, the only reason that these work so well is because they are so unripe. It's like when you use the jackfruit to make uh, vegan stuff. It's because it's immature, like this tomato. Immature. <laughs> That's right. Bathroom humor. Yes. Oh, I'm sure Maddie will watch this later. I think she's probably talking to Granny right now. That's why she's not in the chat, otherwise she might have checked in. Yeah, please keep your fingers, Mark. You need them. I'm trying. You need them to work to the bone for exactly. me. Exactly, to work, work. <laughs> I do not want to go to uh, the uh, urgent care place. No. Too. They'll be busy with firework people. Yeah, they will. Don't blow your fingers off, everybody. I remember when we lived down in the city, um, we used to go down to Fort Totten and watch all the people set off their uh, yeah. illegal fireworks. Yeah. The next morning, you knew it was uh, the day after the 5th of July because there'd be a couple fingers laying around. Am I right? I never saw them personally, but I would hear the stories. Yes. The people on my block were really mean. They would put um, fireworks in um, piles of dog poop as you walk by. That's so mean. <laughs> That's so mean. What's your greatest um, memory of Fourth of July? Um, I mean, yeah, I used to enjoy the fireworks, and I remember the bicentennial. Oh, yeah. 1976. Uh, the, uh, that was a lot of fun. The town people came and painted all the fire hydrants. Red, right, white, and red blue. white, and blue with stars and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And they had the, the big uh, thing in the harbor with all the ships. Yeah, op sale. Uh, yeah, that was that was a good time. Mm -hmm. I, re I uh, really enjoyed that as well because it, I really felt like it was a community type thing because everybody was putting out like flags and... Yeah. There was a lot of um, good feelings about the holiday, huh? <laughs> unlike this year. Unlike today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that was nice. Oh, you got a nice pile of tomatoes there, don't you? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right. Um, one of my funnest memories of uh, 4th of July, let's see. I'm trying to think. Oh, okay. When we moved to Flushing, my neighbors, uh, it was the first year they had moved in, which was like the same year that we moved in, so, uh... Is that right? You moved at the same time? I think so. I think so. The ones on the other, the, not the one with the loud dog, the other side? The kids. No, the ones before them. Oh. It was a married couple, no kids. Oh. Because that was a tiny house. Yes. Yeah. So was my house. I don't know how they shoved six people in there, but <laughs> the, uh, okay. Now, 
Hang on, we gotta take a break from the story here so that Mark can mix up the uh, coating. Mm -hmm. So we've got some garbanzo bean flour here. Whoops, not on in frame, there we go. I want you to put like a half a cup in there. How would I do that? You can get the half a cup scoop. Where is it? <laughs> and put it in there. Now, up on top of the... Yeah, there you go. Is that half? It's a quarter cup. All right, you can do that twice. Yes. <laughs> Good call. Oh, yeah. And while you're doing that, let me grab the oat milk. You said a half cup? Yeah. There you go. Level, I pre shook right? it for you. I shook it. Nice and level. Yeah, it's fine. You know, you didn't even have to measure it. I just. Okay, next. <laughs> Put that down, get a fork. You're ugly. <laughs> okay. Alright, um, take that scoop out of there. Mm -hmm. Just pour in enough milk to make like a pancake batter consistency and, you know, mix it around with the uh, fork. Okay, so while Mark's doing that, back to the story. So they had moved in, and they were a real uh, party bunch, you know? So they were kind of trashy, though. <laughs> you know how small the backyards were in Flushing, right? Oh, yeah. They got a freaking tarp, and they almost covered their entire yard in the tarp and had a freaking blowout party for the 4th of July. They must have had 40 people in that backyard. So the tarp was not on the ground. No, it was they they, they like strung up this dirty old tarp on some um, sticks and with rope mm -hmm. and it was crazy. It was a big freaking blowout party. It was a real eye opener for me because I was only like seven years old. So I was like, oh man, I'm so sheltered. This is what people really live like. You're a mess. Yeah. And uh, I was just like, oh, man, this is crazy. And I creeped on them the whole day. And I was just like, wow, this is what life could be like if your parents weren't oppressive. Were you looking for an invite? <laughs> they did invite us over, but my parents wouldn't let us go over. No. No fun. <laughs> but they had, like, crazy barbecue. There were people throwing up all over the place. Oh, that sounds really good. <laughs> kind of sounds like our neighbor now. <laughs> Stop. So, <laughs> so there you go. Oh, that's perfect, honey. You're doing so good. All right. Now we have uh, some panko breadcrumbs. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, come to the front of the show. So you're gonna put those in the bowl over there. This? Yeah. You know the drill. I know. You know how to do this. I know. This is so simple for you. Okay. Uh, oh, Hanley said he would have guessed that my funnest 4th of July was using the garbage can as the, as the oh, swimming pool. Oh, yeah. But that wasn't on the 4th of July. <laughs> but that was pretty good. Oh, God. Um, oh, Maddie's in the chat. Sorry, I was just blabbing so long that I uh, didn't even look at the chat. Sorry. I didn't, it didn't pop up. That's not true. I was looking. I was like, why isn't anybody talking? All right. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, Louie could watch you in the kitchen all day. Oh. And then Maddie came in and said, um, hope everyone's staying cool and having a great day. <laughs> well, I already did the backyard uh, on, and it was rough. Yeah, it was. It looks like it might rain. Yeah, it was what way happened? beyond my years, even at seven. I got, I got a real adult education from an early age. For sure. Well, you were the youngest of four. So. I was the youngest of four, and my brother was 11 years older than me. So it was like, um, yeah, they, I was no baby. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to, um, let me just, I'm, I don't want to show your um, <laughs> not face. All right. Let's just turn this around. All right. Here we go. Come on. I, um... 
Yeah, move back a little bit. I have to get the thing out of the dishwasher for you. Get the thing, please. Yes, I will. Right. I'm sure it has a name. Silicon. Here we go. All I've right. got my pizza pan with the Silpat on it. And I'm going to turn on the toaster. Turn it on. <laughs> Ooh, you're sexy. All right. <laughs> That's good. I'm going to do 375 convection starting now. All right. So what we're going to do, 20, is... <laughs> We're going to take these yes. and bread them. Yes, but you have to dip them in there first. In here. Yeah. And then this, and then on here. Yeah. Right. Right. I think I'll use a fork. Oh! I oh, just... that's it. She just kicked the dog. <laughs> she kicked the dog. She wasn't doing anything. I'm a dog kicking dick. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's a Saturday Night Live You know what? This looks guys. really thick. You think it's too thick? I don't know if we're gonna have enough, it's too thick. Well, let most of it come off. Oh, obviously. Obvi. Do you want <laughs> do you wanna add more? No, you ruined it. You know what we should do first before you actually put that on the thing? Just to yes, make it a little crispy. You should do that. Spray some of that on there. We got some avocado oil in spray form. Maddie said it's 93 where she is. Ooh. Real feel 100. Ooh. Ooh, Stay good. cool, Maddie. Pixie said it's hot in Maryland as well. Mm. Oh, no. oh my God. Come on. Who's the guys. ice maker? Ice maker. How many C is in that thick? Hmm? How many C is in thick? No. Mark doesn't get that one. Did anyone watch Hamilton yet? No, you had to get up super early and watch it though, man. Can you believe it takes us forever to get out of the house when Maddie's at home, but then when Maddie goes out somewhere, she's already got everything wrapped up by 10 o'clock? <laughs> like she's already gotten uh, up, dressed, out, and back. She's already done for the day. She's getting ready to go to sleep. <laughs> hey. Oh. Chloe, stop it. Mr. Yes, the puppies. The puppies, they bark. Honey, that looks amazing. Look at that. That looks so legit. We need more breadcrumbs. Okay. Well, here you go, sir. Here you go. <laughs> You're doing phenomenal. Louie said, the shade, Mark. <laughs> yeah, sunshine's in the house. Diane got her first viewing of Hamilton in and can't wait for the second. I'm planning on watching it multiple times as well. Maddie said, ha, 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 my schedule is very different this weekend. Yes, there's no hugging the dogs for hours on end. And then... <laughs> Dog photo up. Yeah, and then yeah, taking pictures of the dogs for hours, and then exercising, and then long swims in the pool, right? It's a different schedule this weekend. Laura says it's 68 degrees and overcast in Cambridge. Ooh, is that Cambridge, England, or like Cambridge, nice. Massachusetts? Oh yeah, Sunshine is gonna is getting ready to hate herself. She's hanging and uh, she's hanging peel and stick wallpaper. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Trying to get those scenes to match up is like not stick on is this. not my friend because I am like so OCD about things like being straight and everything. Oh Cambridge, Mass. She lives down the street from Harvard. Oh wow. Harvard Yard. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love Boston so much. And when I say Boston, I mean that whole area. Where's our... Uh, it's very historical. Yeah. Our favorite town 
over there is, was it uh, East Lexington? No, wait. East Concord or West? No, West Concord. West Concord. West Concord, because that's where they had the uh, potting shed. Um, oh, yes. Pottery we factory. We had our flying pig and rabbit. Yes, beautiful. Um, still there, I imagine. Yeah, it is. Still there and still expensive. Also, home to the uh, twin seafood. Oh, yes. That was, yeah, we got a nice uh, seafood sandwich. Of course, yeah. we wouldn't do that now. No, we won't do that now. <laughs> Laura says Concord's not far away. It's actually where her dad is buried. Very wow. pretty town. It is. I yeah, it really it was. I could definitely see myself living there. <laughs> yeah, after you won the lottery. Yes, I'm not um, rich enough to live there though. But it's a beautiful area, very right. historic. We love the history there. In fact, we went there on uh, the 4th of July a couple times. Yeah, um, Ted Kennedy's uh, motorcade almost ran me over. Yeah, when we were by the Esplanade, uh, right. we were yeah. there for the fireworks, for the and fireworks he came show, busting through. And that big old limo came through, and I was standing there in the street, and, and yeah. he came pretty close. Yeah. He did his little speech and then said, eh, I gotta get to the bars. Yeah. <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah, the whole area is just Boston to me, and I have relatives up there too. And in fact, they live. They have a. Um, they have a brownstone right by the uh, North, North Church. Church. Yeah. Yeah, I wish we could have went in that little uh, dessert place we saw. I remember. Yeah. Down in like a basement. Yeah. We were like a tribe of. Uh, mongrels though we wouldn't have fit in there first of all sean was uh you know he was a wild man back he was then. a wild man back then i couldn't imagine sean in a confined space so, all sean wanted to do in boston was go to the disney store yeah basically <laughs> i can't believe we actually walked to the top of uh, bunker hill monument with sean yeah <laughs> Hike. Boy, I had to pee my pants so bad in there, and then when I got down and we got to the bathroom, I could barely peel my jeans off because they were soaking wet. Thank you. Sweat. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> that was a very hot day. Yeah, Mark's taking over the cooking while I'm uh, reflect. I'm reflex. Reflexing in the pool this summer. I hard fun fact. I hardly ever go in the pool. It's just too much work. I say we fill it in. I'm for that. I don't care. I think Maddie may be upset. Oh yeah, this is that's a good point. You can cook eggplants, carrots, zucchinis this way. You got another, or uh, we're gonna do one first? Yeah, let's just do that one. Um. Yeah, I can get you another tray ready. Maddie said, please don't fill in the pool. Please. Mm. It's my only thing. It's going to be filled <laughs> by the time you get back. Sorry. Oh, stop. You already spent too much on the chemicals. Yeah. It's <laughs> true. All right. Um, why don't you come over here? Yeah. And you can have a break. Okay. And uh, I'll pop that in the oven. Well, should I? Uh... You can talk to me. Reverse? The people over oh, here. Okay. Yeah. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> this was a pretty easy one. Yeah. All right, so that's probably going to go in for at least 20 minutes. So. My back is barking at me. Why? What happened? I'm tired. Okay. No breadcrumbs. Ah, so you're making the turkey. What turkey? Um, that, no, that's how um, he makes them in Turkey. They don't use bread. Oh, in Turkey. Flour, which I'm pretty sure we may have tried. What, just flour? Yeah. Yeah, but aren't breadcrumbs like flour? <laughs> My mother's family came from the, um, the islands right off the coast of Turkey. 
Did she make it with flour or breadcrumbs? She may have done flour. Yeah, yeah, she might have. She yeah. might have made it like fried chicken. It's weird not working, Charlie. Um, it, it's very strange. So, we're going to have to change that soon. But as you know, the job market has not recovered. It's a poop. Plus, I don't feel like driving, you know, a million miles, so to find a job around here is going to be rough. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in here instead of uh, oat milk for the rest of this. You do that. <laughs> Would you like to be on camera again? Um, I, I don't have to be, but if you're uncomfortable on camera... Mm. The what do you mean? My hand. Oh. I'm trying to get the uh, comments to pop up. There we are. Oh. Whew. This is going to be so delish. Has anyone else found themselves out of work because of COVID? You did such a good job cutting in these tomatoes. Oh. Slopping it up. You were doing so much better than me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just, uh, just lost all the messages again. You can just, like, swipe it. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm like, covering the camera. I'm not good at internet. <laughs> Will you do a vegan ham because Mark's a ham? <laughs> and, and he's, Lee, he's not a vegan, though. He says, I've come a long way, baby. Yeah, you have, honey. Mark, um, I don't, you, you've just uh, embraced this vegan thing so much. You've done really well. And it's, uh, it's shown in your blood test results, hasn't it? Yeah, they're not horrible. Turkish mothers like the egg version. That could be interesting. Yeah, but we don't eat eggs anymore. Yes. Mad Rose has lost work because of COVID. Yeah. Yes, we know. That's right. Who knows when uh, Big Brother 22 is going to be on. So long as they be... I'm not messing that name up, I know. Edebe. Edebe. Sorry. I'm assuming. I could totally yeah, be... I'm probably butchering it, too. Did I get tested again for antibodies? No, just the one time. Jason has also been missing time because of COVID. Yeah, it's really a bummer. It's really, it is uh, a bummer. It's affected so many people. You know, it's even going to affect people's Social Security, I'm sure. Like, you know, you're going to have that period where you didn't really work. Well, I mean, seven weeks, or I mean, what am I saying? Seven weeks. A, a few weeks or months over 35 years, because they, the way they do um, Social Security is they, they take your highest 35 years of wages and they figure it out with that. Candace James, I sort of lost my job. Can't go because I have high risk factors. I know somebody also that, that I worked with. Two people, actually. Yeah, uh, he took a leave of absence, didn't he? Yeah, two people had uh, underlying health conditions, and uh, there's no way they, they could risk it by going to work. Louis furloughed. Probably for a couple more months, though. Oh, my God. I hope they, uh, they keep that unemployment program going the extra six it's supposed to run out the end of july yes it is i hope they extend it i think um considering that it's spiking they really yeah. probably should yeah this is all like uncharted territory now so who knows well sooner or later we're gonna have to pay for this as a country yeah you know the, the government has been printing money non-stop yeah I didn't step on the dog that time. <laughs> nice. Laura is blessed to be able to work from home. I also have underlying conditions. I think a lot of people. 
How don't many know. people are going to stay at home permanently? I don't know. There will be some. I'm not sure how I avoided uh, contracting it because I was in some areas. Yeah. Which Granny? is funny, too, because we thought that we actually had it. Yeah. What's Granny's thoughts on the virus? Um, well... She stayed home a lot. I mean, she, she did she stay didn't home. Leave the home for, she didn't leave home for a couple of months. What? She did stay home. Yeah. But now that uh, she's stir-crazy, she, like, wants to go out all the time. And I don't know if it's that great of right. an idea. Maddie is disregarding science and saying that... She thought we had it. She still thinks that we had it. You think it was a false negative? It could be. I've heard too many stories of people who were absolutely sure they had it in the, in the months, you know, like from December through March. It was just a nasty strain yeah. of like bronchitis going around. I don't know. Are we ready to do more? I'm already done. What? I'm already done. Oh my gosh. You're so good. <laughs> Are you so excited for Hamilton tonight? Did a dog come and eat that piece of uh, pie? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, he took care of it. Yeah. He's being a very good boy today. Yes. He's helping him puff into the top. Yeah. And the oven's on. And Oh, I won't have to turn it on anymore before we go, because I'm doing tonight's dinner in the pressure cooker. Whoa! What happened there? You tripped over your uh, block rocker. Oh. <laughs> yeah, whoa, careful. Oh, Maddie has seen it today? Yes. Sean is long gone. Shawnee, Maddie said hi. He said hi, Maddie. He did reindeer kiss last night with me. I only had to do this. Oh, the Mets going to reopen, huh? August 29th, we'll see about oh, wow. that. We should all be given uh, personal bubbles to walk around the museum. You know those um, bubble things that they have on like those game shows where they put you like in this bubble and you're supposed to like sumo fight? Yeah. They should put those on people. That's what I just said. I know, but they have the ones that like you go in. Whatever. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. Oh, thanks, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Oh, yeah, Jonathan Groff was really good. What have you seen him in that he wasn't really good in? Come on. Come on. Can you smell them? Why don't you describe what that smells like? It smells like breadcrumbs. Yes. It smells like Italian breadcrumbs. Right. Neither one of us is Italian. They have the Italian seasoning, correct? Right. Yeah, the bread. Let me just show you guys in case you're interested in uh, vegan breadcrumbs. I like my breadcrumbs with meat. <laughs> this is the only. Um, oh, and it's backwards too for you guys, right? <laughs> Panko breadcrumbs from Shoprite, um, Shoprite Trading, trading. Company. Shoprite Trading Company. These are the only ones that I found that are seasoned and mm. and vegan. All of the other seasoned ones have Parmesan cheese in there, and uh, this is one of the only ones that don't. And this giant thing only costs a dollar fifty. Sometimes you can get it on sale for ninety nine cents, but that's only good if you've got a shop right by you, unfortunately. But check your breadcrumbs; they might not be vegan. Yep, Ted Bay. Um on top of fries, he used to put dried mint, oregano, dried red pepper. Yeah, there's a lot of mint used. I, like um, in the uh, the stuffed grape leaves, I think. Yeah, uh, mint. mint is used. Uh, um, the New York Hall of Science is not opening until you Hall year of from Science. There. I was probably Whoa. seven or eight years old when I went to visit the Hall of Science. I love the Hall of Science. And there were dinosaurs Dude, walking that around in the parking lot. Oh my God, Do you remember the magnet thing? In the Hall of Science? Yeah. Refresh my memory. It was like in a glass case and it had these big magnet <laughs> things in there and you got to grab the magnet thing and try and like put the magnets together but you couldn't because the, po the poles were uh, right. closing. I don't know why I remember Scotch that. Yeah. Oh, they don't have the Oh, yeah. 
Do you have Do you have like your version of uh, stuffed grape leaves no, wait. in Turkey? Oh, is Ed Bay in Turkey? I, he may not be here now. Everybody's checking on your boyfriend, Mad, because I'm sure they're uh, ready and willing to swoop in in case anything were to go wrong. <laughs> you know, what did you think 2020 would be back in January? We were just looking for a better year. We it, thought 2019 was bad. It just seems they, they get worse as time goes on, and we were hoping for something good. And man, oh man, it's not work out. He is in Turkey. That's okay, Nicole. You didn't miss too much. Mark just put in his best, uh, his best time in the kitchen making these beautiful um, fried green tomatoes. These haven't gone in the oven yet. Sean, please. Now is not the time for. Singing. I asked Edabe if they had stuffed uh, grape leaves. Grape leaves with um, mint, rice, and mint. And oil, probably a lot of oil. Love it. Louis likes the idea of that. Yeah. That's what we're having for dinner tonight for Hamilton. <laughs> yes, he does have them. Ah. Those have been a favorite of ours. Because our parents were immigrants and they get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, our parents weren't immigrants. Our grandparents were immigrants. I think I hear some thunder. Oh, no. All right, those are going to come out in like two to three minutes, and then uh, we can... It smells good. It does smell good. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are having grape leaves tonight. You will miss them. Mm. Grape was, leaves and barbecued tofu. We'll save one. Dolmas, yeah. Yeah, dolmas. But we don't make them like the dolmas. We make them... Um, we make the ones with the tomato and the um, meat, and instead of the meat, we're going to be using the Beyond Meat in there. We used uh, garbanzo bean flour mixed with some... Uh, Non-dairy milk. Oat milk, or, and then we dipped it in the breadcrumbs. Yeah. I find leaves, right? that the garbanzo bean flour doesn't look sick, like when you use it as an egg replacer, because sometimes if you were just to use flour and water, it looks like a dried up turd. It just looks like pasty and gross and... Okay. <laughs> Am I getting a bonus for helping? Of course. <laughs> of course you are. It's not storming yet, but it kind of looks like it might yeah. got dark out. Oh, you're so welcome, Mary Patricia. I love these pictures that they uh, colored. Yep. Dennis and Mary Alice. They are beautiful. They did a wonderful job. Better than I could have done. And I went to school for art. <laughs> like Polish style and wrap them in oh, uh, cabbage, yeah, cabbage or sure. yeah or I was even thinking uh, some of those dinosaur kale if we were in a pinch we could use the dinosaur kale instead of the grape leaves but you have to go out in a little bit and get the grape leaves right off the vine to yeah. be used for tonight we have uh, oh, sorry. we have, uh, we have two, two vines two grape vines one of which is not doing so well but the other one always produces a lot yeah but the thing is, the one that is not doing well is the one that has the tastiest leaves mm -hmm. because they are a different variety of grape. Where do we get our pool floats? Actually, we haven't we haven't purposed any in a while unless you got them. Did you get those on uh, Amazon last time? No. The yeah, Eagle uh, one, I got at Sam's Club. Oh, okay. And the, uh, the Swan one, someone sent us. Well, the Eagle one did not survive the hailstorm. We Neither had. did the pool. Yeah, well, we don't know about that. But, well... The uh, the eagle one got punctured in like three different places. Yeah. Because the hail was so big and, and sharp. Nasty. All right, let's see if we're ready to take these bad boys out. Where are you, Louie, that you need the rain so bad? Michigan. Michigan? 
Well, the, the start of our summer, late spring and summer, was very dry. And um, we finally broke that pattern and we're getting some rain. You think those are... Yeah, probably, right? Vinegar and salt. Oh, that sounds good. Prince Royce got COVID. Yeah, I saw that. One of Maddie's favorite uh, ballroom dance um, music guys. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently we keep breaking records. Uh, what was yesterday? 55,000? Across yeah. the country? Yeah. I saw 55, and then this morning I saw like 52, so I'm not sure. Well, look, anything over 50 is huge. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Gotta let yeah, this cool for we, a second. we enjoy having that little garden. Oh. These are beautiful. Look at that. Let's see. Hold that down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Put the white balance. Uh, Ah, really. there we go, there we go. Yeah. Okay. These are super, super hot. Don't just... Yeah, which, no, 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 no. Which is why Janet gives it to me. I will... You talk. I will pre-blow these for you. <laughs> just give me them. Yes, tomatoes are from our garden. These were especially good. Uh, these plants we got. Yeah. We, we got one. We got them at Lowe's. One that makes the uh, grows the bigger ones. That's so big. You're really ones. gonna burn yourself. And um, we have one little cherry tomato plant. That already has hundreds there of are tiny tomatoes so on it. So many on there. We're gonna save the seeds from these guys and grow them. We in. always say that. We're doing it. We have a purple pepper plant too. Yep. Say that fast ten times. <laughs> How is it? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'll just use my fingers. Very good. Oh, crap. Mmm. <laughs> Love it. Very nice. Mmm. I was worried that they were going to be bland because I didn't put any seasoning in the uh, garbanzo bean flour, but they're fine. Right. The um, the seasoning from the uh, breadcrumbs is enough. Yeah, everybody it's thinks delicious. It, everybody thinks your pre-blow comment was funny. <laughs> Let's see. Well, you guys should try these. They're really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, Shawnee just said, "God, I suck." Mmm. <laughs> Matt, I wish you were here for these. They're delicious. Oh, so good. I guess that's what we're having for lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put them in the fridge. They'll make everything else spoil, Charlie. Hey, Miami. Welcome to Miami. By the time you get back, maybe some more will have uh, grown big enough, Maddie. <laughs> Usually, the only time you do fried green tomatoes is at the beginning of the season and at the end when um, when the frost is coming. The frost is coming, and you've got like ten on there that are green, right. and you have to use them up. Oh, so delicious! I don't want to stop eating these now. Don't stop. Eat them. <laughs> Will it be a porch dinner? Not yeah. tonight. Mmm. Sorry, I just got those over here. It's always an adventure <laughs> having porch dinners because you never know when the porch will collapse. <laughs> mm. A little hot sauce, you know? Yeah, you're right. Mm. That's so good. <laughs> That's a healthy lunch, husband. Yeah, Will Smith song, Welcome to Miami. Doing, buddy. Say Want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Sean, would you like to try some fried green Thanks. tomatoes? Let's see what Sean thinks. Shawnee, these are a little hot. Mm. Be careful. Wait, come here. How is it? Good. Want more? Sean, yeah. seal of approval. Remember when all Sean would eat were uh, 
frozen pizza, burgers, and Captain Crunch. I just remembered I asked Sean when he went to the supermarket the other day, and he said peanut butter cereal, and I didn't get it. Thanks, Eddie Bay. <laughs> How have we been getting our haircuts? This one did mine. I did Sean's, too. And you did mine. Yep. And Maddie didn't need hers cut because she's going to be donating hers, so... Yeah, it's romantic and dangerous, the porch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is very romantic, though. Especially with the lights on. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. And now the swing is all cleaned off, so we can actually sit on on there. Oh, thanks, everybody. And pretend that we are um, younger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so much younger than before. Thank you, Charlie. Maddie's very proud. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't stay away from those. Have another. Did you ever eat them when your mother made them? Probably not. <laughs> I had my work cut out for me when I uh, hooked up with you because you didn't eat many vegetables. Mm -hmm. I remember a typical weekend breakfast for you was like a freaking half pound of bacon, oh, man. six or seven uh, pieces of toast. I remember my mother. Like four eggs. On the weekends, my mother would make me probably three eggs sunny side up with about six slices of toast and bacon. And I was what? 13, 14? You were skinny as hell, too. No, not at that point. I was a little chubby. No, when I met you, you I were... I slimmed down You were slim. By then, I slimmed yeah. down. Yeah. But you were still eating that. Have fun, Maddie. Bye. Enjoy. Oh, Louie has a restaurant there with the best fried green tomatoes. You should whip it up, Louie. It's so easy. Yeah. Love you, man. Love you. Now my nose is running. <laughs> it's getting hotter and hotter, hotter in here. I know. So take off all your clothes. <laughs> you know, I could just go like by the air conditioner. Um. Why is it about tonight? It's funner to take off Why? your clothes, though. Why? <laughs> Don't touch me on the bed. <laughs> no, she's not been drinking. This is what I'm like naturally. They should, they should see when I'm drinking. When I'm drinking, I just I fall over. Mm -hmm. Who said I love you first? Right. Me or you? Probably you. It was me. Aw, we're the most. Oh, that's good light. Sean, 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 a few more minutes, okay? A few more minutes. <laughs> You're just starting to lose it. Yeah. Thanks, Doug. You always leave the sweetest comments. Thank you. I hope you and everybody else has a wonderful uh, 4th of July. Yep, stay safe. I hope you guys get to see Hamilton. Uh, I don't know why they just didn't, like, make it required watching for United States, but they had to put it on, like, a streaming service. Why couldn't they just put it on, like, regular TV? That would have been nicer for, like, the 4th of July, wouldn't yep. it? Because I'm sure not everybody has not Disney+. Plus. Prime Warm version of Charlie. Rice and mushrooms. Mm. Ooh. Oh, go away. Go away. Extra sliced lettuce cooked separately put together. Vegan mints. Yeah. That sounds delicious. That's the uh, rice and mushroom idea. Yeah. Well, we do make a rice and mushroom dish in the rice cooker. Yes. I put a whole pound of sliced mushrooms and then the uh, basmati rice and some uh, seasonings and oil. Yeah, Sean's extra. <laughs> a little bit. So what's everybody else's plans for 4th of July? We're just going to stay home and work on the house. <laughs> and go in the pool, maybe. Maybe. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I have never even had charred. No. 
My, no, no, never had Swiss chard. Oh. My niece loves Swiss chard. Sean and fireworks. He does not, he likes to see them from afar. But we've been to like a, this is a minor league baseball stadium, not too far. And they would have fireworks after the game. He would literally run away. Out of the stadium. I had to chase him. Yeah. That was uh, not fun. No. Because he would leave the stadium at the seventh inning in preparation because they were coming soon. Maybe he thought the game was over at the seventh inning because uh, Maddie's softball games would only go like seven innings or whatever. He just wanted to be out before the fireworks started. <laughs> Bless you. Um, you had to put Nini on her doggy Xanax today. Um, uh, I think our other dogs used to do worse with the fireworks. Um, uh, Bowie seems to be okay with them. So far. He's still yeah. a young guy. When he's older, he may not like it so much. Um. Have a good weekend. Yeah, have a great weekend. We had, uh, Princey, the Irish Setter. Oh, Scotland's in the house. Yeah, Scotland. Our Irish setter used to jump in the bathtub and uh, at the first uh, hearing of thunder or of fireworks, and he wouldn't come out, mm -hmm. and he would just cry in there. What other dogs uh, did we have that were like, I can't talk? Was Pee, -wee? Pee Wee was okay, I thought, oh. in the fireworks. He would bark at them. I thought Rodell did not like the fireworks. He would go down in the basement and hide in the dirty laundry. Hanley wants to do nothing. I'm with you, Hanley. I don't want to do anything. This kitchen's not going to paint itself. How's the weather in Orkney right now? Ooh, Orkney. What a cool name. It's raining. Oh, it's Mary Patricia's uh, sister's birthday. And the dryer just broke. Oh no! Been there. Well, happy birthday to Cold your sister Mary Patricia. Okay. I hope she's going to have a great day for the 4th of July. I always like looking at maps of the UK and I end up looking at the coast in Scotland. It must be Is your family from around there? Mine? Yeah. I thought you were like... I think there's, there's some Scottish in the mix. Yeah. I don't know. Don't know where they're from. Actually, I think one of my ancestors' last names was Scott, so that's, that's pretty Scottish. I, you couldn't get more Scottish than that, right? <laughs> and I think it was a Gibson, too. Oh, Gibson. Yeah. Like the guitar Gibson? Yeah. It's cold. I like cold. I don't like hot. Right now, I can use I can some cold. <laughs> I bet everything is super green. Oh, yeah. That's what I like about the UK. Everything is lush. Especially Ireland, Hillside. Julie asks, are you enjoying the new car? Yes, very much. 100% love the new car. Too much dog hair in it, though. Now, I can't see whose name that is, but they live inside of Sherwood Forest. They're dot, dot. Dot, dot, dash, dash. Dash, dash, yeah. Ooh, Sherwood Forest. That De must be super lush. I too. definitely have British ancestry. Yeah. Could you be related to Robin Hood? Absolutely. Well, then where's our stock fortune? <laughs> Am I exasperating you yet? No, I got some of my own. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think you, um,. Have built up a pretty tough skin to me over the last 37 years. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. I hope it's not coming in in the front. It seems to be coming straight down. Oh, okay. And the rain has started. Because I have the front window open. I know. Can you give a prediction what the world will be like January 1st, 2021? No idea. I hope it's. Um, Got nothing to do with COVID. I think COVID's still going to be here. But I don't think we're going to have a um, any COVID-free 2021. No, uh, you know a uh, 
It's not just going to blow away. Oh, oh, we got some bundles in the house. We're not going to have any any shots or anything. Any uh, vaccines? Vaccines? By yeah, either. probably not. I don't know that there. There's never been a vaccine for any kind of a, a virus. virus like that, right? I don't think so. Mm. Isn't the but isn't, isn't the, polio a virus? I'm not sure. Polio virus? But isn't the common cold uh, basically a coronavirus? Yeah, but it doesn't kill enough people for anybody to make a vi uh, vaccination well, for it. Hopefully, this virus will weaken as it mutates. And I thought it mutated and it was more contagious. There's, there's supposedly many different varieties of this. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> is that time already? it's that time already. Uh, Mark's got to go sit in front of the air conditioner now oh, because yeah. I've worked him far too long. I'm overheating. <laughs> Steam or, puffing out right, of my ears. Let me throw you in the pool. Oh, I can't. It's raining. Mm. All right, guys. I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July and rest of the weekend. If you want to check in with us again, uh, mm -hmm. watch our vlog channel. <laughs> Granny w does not date, no. She's a one-woman man. No, she's a one-man woman. <laughs> okay. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Guys, care, thanks for chatting with us and hanging out with us while we make this delicious food. Sorry we couldn't share it with you. But we'll see you next time. What are you doing? I'm even? just scrolling. All right. Have a great right, weekend. Take care, everybody. Much love, everybody. Bye. Bye.